Sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. My lungs hurt and I'm sick. Hopefully I don't have the coronavirus, but either way, let's get into this. I think most Americans in this day and age are familiar with megachurches that exist around the country. When I was younger, there were a lot of megachurches that would broadcast on TV. There was also an extreme sense of irony when one of these megachurch leaders got caught doing something horrible. The hypocrisy of preaching how to live to others, and then getting caught with male hookers and meth like Ted Haggard, was the epitome of irony. However, if some of these stories are to be believed, there may be a megachurch based out of South Korea that makes the actions of these scummy pastors look like child's play. This is a story of a South Korean doomsday cult that is rumored to be at the heart of the coronavirus pandemic, the Shincheoni Church of Jesus. On the 14th of March, 1984, a man called Lee Man Hee started a new Christian movement that he called the Shincheoni Church of Jesus, the Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony. This sect is renowned for its secretive nature, and it's said that its adherents believe that Lee Man Hee is the second coming of Jesus, and that only he can properly interpret the Bible. Lee is a literal self-proclaimed messiah, and states that when Judgment Day comes, he will take 144,000 of his most loyal followers to heaven with him. Lee's followers are very aggressive in recruiting, to the point that they have been known to infiltrate other churches to steal their members away. Lee also states that other churches and pastors are satanic. Since Shinjioni church members are seen as heretical by mainstream Christian denominations and viewed poorly by wider society, members often lie about their affiliation with the church. The membership of the church was estimated to be around 120,000 in 2014, and after an investigation by the South Korean government in 2020, they confirmed that there are over 300,000 members. In South Korea, it is not uncommon for Lee's followers to pose as proper Christians only to lure foreign and Korean nationals into their meetings in order to recruit them. In the UK, Lee's followers have worked to subvert the Church of England and poach their members using an affiliate called Paracristo. Paracristo is a front for the Shinjioni, but is still legally registered as a charity in the UK. Once people get involved with Paracristo, it is not uncommon for these people to withdraw from their loved ones and lie about their religious activity they're engaged in. Over 500 churches in England have been notified of these activities by the Church of England. This trend of poaching unsuspecting worshippers continued in India and several other countries and even led the government of Singapore to investigate Lee's recruitment practices as well as numerous front companies that the Shinjioni Church has established for their suspect activities. Around late February, Lee's church was linked to 50% of the confirmed cases of COVID-19 in South Korea. Lee's members are encouraged to keep coming to meetings while sick with COVID-19. With the epicenter of South Korea's infections stemming from a Shinjioni church in a town called Daegu. More terrifying, Lee's members that have been confirmed to have COVID 19 have been reported to be traveling internationally and attending traditional churches to intentionally infect other people. These allegations have led many other churches to cancel events and services as a precaution. A church in a city south of Seoul tried to question two suspected Shinjioni members that were at their Sunday service. One ran away as someone tried to take a picture of him, and the other was positively ID'd as a Shinjioni member, and it was confirmed that he had visited non-Shinjioni churches several times in the past. The head of the Korean Christian Cult Counseling said, quote, I know cases where 200 Shinjioni members were sent out undercover to a traditional church with 10,000 members, and that church later crumbled. One ex-Shinjioni member stated, quote, The goal is to act like perfect human beings to start making relationships with people in the congregation. After concentrating on a member of the church from anywhere between a year to three years, we lead the regular churchgoer to a meeting with the administrator of Shinjioni Church. The government of Singapore has reports linking the Shinjioni Church to several outbreaks of COVID-19. Lee has even publicly apologized for the role his church has played in the outbreak of the coronavirus in South Korea. Lee stated that, quote, Although it wasn't intentional, many people may have been infected. Lee's brother's funeral was held at a hospital that just so happened to be the epicenter of the second outbreak within South Korea. It has also been reported that many Chinese members had been meeting in Wuhan around December, and that a few of the members also worked in the Wuhan Virology Laboratory. Although I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Of course, each side is a different story to tell. 
Shinji-Yoni USA released a statement saying many of the group's critics are relishing in the negative attention, leaving church leaders to refute baseless rumors spread by reputable media outlets both local and overseas. Members aren't pressurized into abandoning their jobs and familial relationships or to believe in a messianic apocalyptic sect shrouded in secrecy. It is also untrue that churchgoers have denied COVID-19 testing and are hiding from authorities and are prohibited from using face masks. On the other hand, a pastor that counsels ex Shinjioni members said, quote, It may appear Christian, but it is actually completely different, he told the news outlet. They revere their founder, Lee Man He, as a savior like Jesus. Putting the he said, she said aside, Business Insider reports that 60% of South Korea's cases stem from the Shinjioni Church in Daegu. Given the subversive and secretive nature of the Shinjioni Church, plus the global reach that it has, it is not out of the question to assume that they have sent infected members to various corners of the world in order to hasten the apocalypse. All this has led to several countries to investigate the church, and the mayor of South Korea has even accused the Shinjioni Church of murder and injury. Ultimately, I don't know if any of this is true. This is just taken from the reports that I found. This could be a smear job by several countries and numerous news outlets, or there really could be a secretive doomsday cult that smuggled a bioweapon out of a Chinese laboratory, hellbent on spreading it throughout the globe. Stranger things have happened. Real or fake, I think it's an interesting story, and hopefully it entertained you while you're in lockdown. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you all next time.